Namaste everybody. So I've jotted down a few points that I want you all to be aware of as you practice automatic writing, as you practice channeling, there are a few things that you should know. The first thing that I want you all to know is don't consciously try to connect with a departed loved one. Right? If they come through during the process of writing, that is absolutely fine. But you don't make a conscious effort to connect with them. Right? Because it is disturbing the soul's journey. Always remember that. The second point that I wanted to share with you all is if you feel any discomfort or pain, then stop writing immediately. Say a short prayer and finish your session then and there. All right. Now, if you feel a slight tingling sensation or slight pressure, slight uneasiness, that is fine. But if your hand starts paining, like if you have an excruciating pain, unbearable pain, stop writing immediately. Right? This should not happen. This generally doesn't happen. Unless some major release is happening, you know. So stop it then and there. Say a short prayer, ask for healing and stop your session. Right. The third thing that you remember is, if you should always remember, is you're not just channeling guidance or messages. You're not just, you know, downloading divine messages, but you're also receiving healing energy constantly. So as you write, as you receive the guidance, you also receive healing energy through channeling. This healing energy can be sent to your loved ones. So just close your eyes and ask your masters, ask your guides to help you send this healing energy to your loved ones. Right? The next point that I wanted to share with you all is don't always try to interpret what you're receiving. Allow. Surrender. If you force it too much, you know, force only creates resistance. So don't force it too much. All you're meant to do is be a channel, be an empty vessel through which the divine energy can flow through. Remember, you are just a channel. Don't get involved too much with the process. Let the process happen. All right, so surrender. Uh, regarding the timing, avoid midnight to 4 a.m. in the morning. So avoid 12 to 4. Do not practice auto writing between 12 to 4. Now, regarding keeping a candle and a glass of water, it is not essential, but I would suggest that if you can keep the five elements with you, you know, it would be nice. It would enhance the process. So, for the earth elements, you can keep a piece of crystal or you can keep a potted plant. For water, you can keep a glass of water. And for fire, you can keep a candle or a dia. The akash element and the air element is with us any which way. Right? So, it is not essential, but you can have it to enhance the process. Also remember that the downloads, the divine downloads may come in at any point of time. Not necessarily when you are writing. When you're doing something else, when you're completely lost somewhere, you know, it might just come to you through a sign, through a symbol, through a clear knowing. So just be aware that the signs may come in, the symbols may come in, the messages may come in at any point of time. Be more aware, be more conscious of what you're receiving, right? So be more present. The next one is keep a journal. A dream journal. So many times we will receive downloads through our dreams. So remember to write them down because we tend to forget our dreams. So always make a note of your dreams. Right? Keep a dream journal. Um, the last one that I wanted to share is intention, protection and gratitude. Remember these three things. Always start your channeling with intention setting. Though the universe knows our intention, tell the universe why you're doing this. Why are you channeling? Right? Tell the universe you're doing it for your own good, for 
your highest good and for the good of others. Second is protection. Always protect yourself the way I told you with golden white light or just an orb of white light, a ball of white light. Pray to your masters, pray to your guides, call upon the angels I told you and then start the process. Right? It would be very good if you can start with chakra balancing and then get into channeling. If you don't have enough time, you know, you can get, it, get into channeling directly. Say the short prayer and then start automatic writing. But do try to practice it daily, at least for the first one month. Alright? And last is gratitude. So always end your session with a short prayer of gratitude. In your own words, in your own way. Say a short prayer to your masters, to your guides, to the universe and then end your session. So these are the few things that I thought of sharing with you as you practice channeling more and more. Thank you so much.